In this session, I will demonstrate how the XOR gate works. Here on tialab.com, we use the color blue to represent zero, false, low, off. We use the color red to represent one, true, high, on. The output of the XOR gate is true when only one of the inputs is true. If A is false while B is true then the output of the XOR gate is true. If A is true while B is false, then the output of the XOR gate is true. If both inputs are false, then the output of the XOR gate is false. If both inputs are true, then the output of the XOR gate is false. If you are working in the lab and you don't have an XOR chip, then you can build one yourself. If you only have NEN gates available, then you can use NEN gates as shown on this circuit board. Again, when both inputs are false, the output of the XOR gate is false. When both inputs are true, the output of the XOR gate is false. When either input A is true or input B is true, the output of the XOR gate is true. If you only have NOR gates, then you can use NOR gates as shown on this circuit board to build your XOR gate. Again, when both inputs are false, the output is false. When both inputs are true, the output is false. But when only one of the input is true, the output is true.
two other ways to build an XOR gate. is to use in the first case two OR gate and one NEN gate and of course two inverters this is called the maximum version of the XOR gate notice that this is input A and this is input A naught coming from the inverter and this is input B and this is input B naught again coming from input B through this inverter and of course you can verify that the output is true when only one of the input is true. And of course if you have two N gates and one OR gate you can build the min term version of the XOR gate again notice this is input A this is input A naught and here this is input B while this is input B naught passing through the inverter and coming from B to verify that this is the XOR gate, notice that the output is true when only one of the inputs is true. Seeing both the max term and the min term together, both outputs are true when only one of the input is true for more information on the operation and function of this circuit visit tialab.com where you can read our Boolean Algebra article. Our Boolean Algebra article is a step-by-step -step introduction to Boolean logic. The article includes a listing of the theorems that are typically used to simplify complex logic expressions. This listing includes the De Morgan theorems. In addition, the article provides worked out examples showing how to use the theorems to simplify complex expressions. Thank you for watching this session of TLab.com.